Hi, so I want to tell you about one of the most amazing cheating stories that I've ever heard in an exam in a computer science class. This happened while I was a PhD student and no, I was not involved with this, but I actually saw it happen because I was in the class when it occurred. Okay, so this wasn't totally important, but it's a mobile app development class. And whenever you are doing things with mobile app development, you wanna be able to look up information really quickly because there are lots of changing standards and things like that. So the cheating actually occurred during a midterm exam. And in this particular case, I'm not gonna name any names, but the professor allowed us to use any resource that we wanted during the test, except we couldn't use another person. So we can use our own notes, we can look up things online, you can use anything on your own computer as long as you're not talking to another living individual. And I've actually had tests like this before in other classes and that is not a problem. In fact, I've even allowed it on some exams on my own classes. This is not actually a real problem, but there is a problem that I'm gonna go into. So they proctored the midterm exam, everything seemed totally fine, nothing bad happened, no one was sent out. One weird thing that happened though was that during the midterm exam, the professor and the TA were both in the room and then about 10 minutes in, the professor just leaves <laughs> and the TA just stays there. One additional thing that happened was that they had a video camera set up so that they maybe could look at it afterward and see if someone is looking to the side or something. And as far as I know, nothing actually ever happened with that but they took every single measure that they could to try to stop some amount of cheating from occurring. But it turns out that there was some cheating that occurred and we didn't actually know that this was actually happening until way later when the professor finally graded through everything and found some cheating that occurred. And so let me tell you how the professor, as he told us, how he found all about this. So here's what happened. It's I still don't know to this day how this professor actually did this, but this is what he told us. To give you some setup, a lot of people in the world use this app called WhatsApp. So WhatsApp is a messaging client service, whatever you want to call it, where a bunch of people can, of course, message each other. It's kind of like Facebook Messenger. It's kind of like iMessage too for iPhones, but billions of people in the world use WhatsApp. It's extremely popular. And there's actually something that you kind of have to know about computer science, which I'm gonna tell you in order for this to actually make sense. So the way that most universities work for sending data from inside the network to outside the network is that the data that is going to eventually be sent is not encrypted first. So if the app is really crappy, like WhatsApp happened to be in this case, the data is not actually encrypted until it leaves the router. So by that I mean, so you have your device, like my camera right here, so you have your device that has the data on it and it sends the data out. If you have a really good app, it's going to encrypt it on the device so that anyone trying to look at the traffic going out won't be able to see it. But WhatsApp didn't do this. So WhatsApp sends the data unencrypted so anyone could in principle see it until it hits the router at which point the data becomes encrypted and then when it goes out into the public internet, so not within the university network, on the public internet, now it's actually encrypted and then gets sent to the appropriate person. And so here's what actually happened. And again, I still have no idea how this occurred. The professor said, and I'm gonna pretty much paraphrase what he said, was that he looked at the university traffic, The by traffic I mean the web traffic, the data traffic, and saw that there was an unencrypted data being sent from a particular person or people, I guess, in this class to other people in the same class. Since it was being sent over the university network, it turns out that the professor was able to read it because it wasn't encrypted. The way that the cheater could have actually solved this was if they didn't hook into the university Wi-Fi and instead just used the cellular signal, the professor would have no chance of actually finding out that this occurred because it's not going through the university network. And so by analyzing the whole freaking network traffic of Arizona State University, the professor was able to find some cheating that occurred in this class because WhatsApp does not encrypt its traffic until it gets to the router. Isn't that amazing how that possibly could have occurred. I don't 
fully believe that that's what happened, but that's what he told us. So hopefully that was interesting. If you have any other interesting cheating stories on exams, put them in the comments down below. As always, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. It really helps us out. There are many other links in the video description if you want to support the channel further. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.